Better start recording or Frank here is gonna eat all the food. Welcome to Heavenly Eating, and today we make arugula beet and goat cheese salad with a nice maple balsamic dressing. Stay tuned. Wonder, why arugula? Arugula is a tender green that comes out this time of year during the spring, and it has a really peppery, very strong bite. Right, Max? Yes. Super you, strong. I'm so like, like you saw Whoa. me. I, I was like, oh, because sometimes when you eat it raw, it's just so intense. So what we got is a maple syrup and some balsamic dressing because they're very sweet and it kind of cuts through that peppery bite, giving it sort of a sweet and spicy salad. All right, first thing we want to do is dump our Dijon mustard and maple syrup in there. Then we're going to mix in our balsamic dressing. So what I'm doing now is to add some more depth to the salad because sometimes salad gets boring. Oh, it's just greens. Everybody gets kind of weird about that sort of stuff. So what we're doing is we're going to add some herb. So what we're doing here is tarragon. Tarragon is one of those kind of licorice tasting herbs. Another spring herb. Really, really yummy. We're just breaking up the leaves in the salad bowl. It's a great idea. It's a good way to lift your salad to the next level. And people at your party or at dinner will all be super impressed. It's what we chefs do. We expect it out of you. We're take our greens and what we want to do is we want to dress them. So we're going to take some of our maple balsamic and drizzle it around. Drizzle it around. Then we're gonna add another ingredient, which is some beets. I'm gonna add some beets in there. Add a good amount, because you know, it is a beet salad. The greens are just kind of extra in there. Do that, and then what I always like to do is give it a little seasoning, so a little salt and pepper. Salt, a little pepper. Mix it up so it gets a nice, even blend. And then we're gonna plate. Now you're going to start plating by putting a pinch of the arugula salad with some beets right there in the middle of the plate. And what we're doing now is layering. Now this is important because you build your salads high because then they look a little bit more attractive to people. You know, the higher the salad, the more attractive it looks. Eat the salad! Let's see, it's big. Oh, bro. You want big. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. Holy oh, smokes, man. It's really good, bro. <laughs> I told you. I didn't think I want man. Oh, man. Mm. That's pretty good, right? That's like a classic salad you'll see at five star restaurants. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. I can pay like a super farm to table, right? Yeah. They're banging out on the price though. Banging on the price. It'd be like a 13, 14 buck salad. We're sorry about the farm and table expense. That's why we're teaching how to do it at home. Maxie, you can turn stuff. this off or are you gonna keep watching me eat with food in my mouth? <laughs> I don't care. Good job.